good morning children so today we will be starting with the second unit in your english textbook so what is the lesson name can you see here the cock and the sun so have you heard about the wild animals children in your evs there will be so many wild animals in the forest isn't it can you name few of the animals there will be lion tiger cheetah elephant monkey and also along with this animals there will be birds also isn't it so today we are going to learn a moral story on the animals and also sun okay so shall we start yes so children there were so many animals in the forest and also birds too once what happened the sun wanted to meet all the animals and birds in the forest to know them personally so what the sun wanted to do the sun wanted to meet all the animals and birds and he wanted to speak with everybody and wanted to know about the animals so what the sun told he told he asked them to gather near the big rock in the forest at 6 o'clock in the morning so what did the sun tell children he asked them to gather near the big rock big rock means dodde bande kallu antivalva that is called big rock so he asked them to gather gather means ottu gododu ellaru seri alli ottu gudbekagittu at what time the sun asked them to do at 6 o'clock in the morning can you see the clock here so the clock is showing 6 o'clock here so the sun told all the animals to gather at 6 o'clock in the morning why in the morning because the sun rises in the morning isn't it children so that is why the sun wanted to meet at the morning so the leaves were very happy to hear that the sun would be out usually the leaves birds animals all the things around the world will be happy when the sun rises because the whole world will get light isn't it so that is why everybody will be usually happy that is why the leaves were also happy to hear the sun would be out but the animals had their own views few other animals they had their own views means they had their own thinking they started expressing their ideas in the morning it was the turn of the beautiful peacock to start the discussion so what happened few animals and few birds were happy to see the sun but few animals they had their own thoughts they had their own thinking they started expressing their ideas so what they wanted to do in the next morning they thought they spoke among themselves in the morning see in the morning it was the turn of the beautiful peacock peacock will be very beautiful isn't it children so the peacock wanted to start the discussion who wanted to start the discussion peacock what did the peacock tell let us see peacock told mr donkey please don't wait for me it is very cold i want to warm myself up i will sleep for a while so what the peacock is telling she is telling mr donkey please do not wait for me nangoskara wait maadbedi it will be very cold in the morning you all know no children now it is winter season usually in winter season it will be very cold so the peacock is telling i want to warm myself up warm means bechu girbeku morning alli so i will sleep for a while so so until i i get warm i want to sleep so she is telling don't wait for me let us see what the donkey told ha huh, why don't you why do you think i plan to go right now the sun may not come out at 6 o'clock 
I will slowly get ready and go. I will go at 8 o'clock. So what the donkey is telling? He is telling the sun may not come at 6 o'clock. So he is diverting other animals telling that the sun may rise late. So that is why the donkey wants to go slowly and get ready at 8 o'clock and go to meet the sun. Here's what the bee is telling. Can you see? This is the bee. The bee is telling. So, then I think I can collect some honey before I start. Later, I'll attend the meeting. So, what is the work of the bee? It will be gathering honey from the flowers, isn't it? So, the bee is telling. I'm going to gather some honey first. Then, I will go and attend the meeting. Let us see what the parrot is going to comment. Let me go to the field and collect some food grains first. There are so many fruits to be tasted. I will also reach by 8 o'clock. Even the parrot wants to gather some food for him. So that is why even parrot wants to go and reach there by 8 o'clock. The elephant is also sharing its view now. Yes, my first work is to take bath. So, what is the first work of the elephant children? It, uh, it wants to take bath early in the morning. So, where it will go to take bath? It will go near the river. It is quite far. So, where was the river? It was quite far. Means, Swalpa Dur Dalli Is anybody interested in coming with me? Not only the elephant is going, he is also inviting others to join for a bath. Now, the king of the jungle. Who is the king of the jungle children? The king of the jungle is lion. So, the lion is telling, I would rather go by myself. I am the king of the forest. Other animals should gather first. I will come after all of you. So, the king of the jungle, he is already very proud because he is the king of the jungle. So, what he is telling? First, all the other animals should gather to meet the sun. Later, the king will join the meeting. So, it will go after all the animals go and meet the sun. So, the fox, usually we will consider the fox as the chief minister to the king, isn't it? So, that is why the fox is telling... I am the chief minister. I will go with the king. So, the fox will also go and meet late. So, with whom he is going? He wants to go with the lion. What's the owl is going to do now? You think of who should go first. But do you know how tired I am? So, the owl is telling. The owl is very tired. I was busy catching mice the whole night. So, do you all know children, the owl sleeps in the morning because at night it will be awake. It will, hunt, it will be hunting its food and it will be awake. It will not sleep at nights usually. So, the owl is telling, I am very busy catching mice the whole night. So, I cannot go and reach first. I want to take rest now. So, the owl want, also wants to take rest. So, even the owl is not ready to go. So, let us see what happens next. Next, the early morning, what happened? Let us see. When the sun rose, rose is the past tense of rise. Okay, R-I-S-E, rise. Rise means Uday Sodo, isn't it? The sun rose, rose means they are telling the past tense. The sun is already rose. When the sun rose in the sky, only a cock was waiting for him. So, who was waiting uh, at that time at 6 o'clock? Only the cock was waiting for the sun. The cock, who was not interested in such a talk, had arrived in time. So, he did not listen to anybody. He arrived to meet the sun at time. He was habituated to rising early and waiting for the sun. So, usually uh, in the city sites we will not be hearing but when you go to villages early in the morning you can hear the cock crowing, isn't it? So, if all, always the cock will be the first riser in the 
cities and even in the villages also so habituated means it will be uh, it is the habit of the cock he was habituated to rising early and waiting for the sun he did the same that day to even that day he went to meet the sun early in the morning slowly all the other animals and birds gathered after an hour so what happened slowly other animals they were all very busy isn't it so that is why they gathered to meet the sun very late after an hour they came to meet the sun the sun was very happy and praised the cock for its punctuality so punctuality means being on time coming to the place where you want to go on time is called as punctuality so the sun was very happy and praised the cock for its punctuality all the animals and birds felt ashamed or again i to nach ke i to yenke because the sun started praising the cock that is why they were all ashamed they had not expected the turn of events in this way so they did not expect the cock would come first they all thought that everybody are going late that is why they felt ashamed the sun also announced the sun also announced a reward reward means prize kododu prize kodta irodu okay the sun also announced a reward from now on the cock will welcome me every morning so what is the reward he is going to give from now from today the cock will be the early riser and he will welcome me me means who is me here sun the cock will welcome me every morning and also he gave one more reward let us see what it is it is the crown on the cock's head have you seen the cock there will be a red color a uh, thing on the cock's head so that is the crown it is called as the comb the crown which was given by the sun is called as what children the comb can you see here c o m b comb even today the cock crows as the sun rises so every day you can hear the cock crowing in the villages early in the morning this grand comb also is attractive so the comb is also very attractive by seeing the comb you can identify whether it is a cock or a hen isn't it so that is the reward given by the sun so children what did you understand from the story you want to be punctual or you want to be lazy like other animals always you should be very punctual you should not be lazy so what is the moral of this lesson the moral of the story is we should not be lazy and also we should never get into useless talks don't listen to any useless talks do your work in time and you will get a very good reward in your future understood children so i will stop the lesson till here and i'm going to share the notes for you okay children thank you